Please join me in welcoming Greg Apirian with partner sponsor Corbett and his co-speaker, Greg Monaco, with Let's Go Monaco, keynote session, re-energize your workforce. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're coming from. My name is Greg Apirian. I am the Chief Experience Officer at Corbett. Corbett is a workplace experience platform, and we are also a partner sponsor here at the conference today. So thanks to the conference for uh, having us here. And I am joined by my good friend and colleague, Greg Monaco. Hey, Greg, good to see you. Uh, my name is Greg Monaco, as Greg stated, and I'm a personal uh, brand coach and storyteller. And I help people tell magnetic stories so they can attract the work they love. So this is super important. And so why is it so imperative that companies pay attention to their employees in building their personal brands? Well, the first reason here is that it's happening anyway. <laughs> Your employees right now know more than ever before the principles of brand development, the benefits of brand development, and they have the tools available for them to develop their own brands and their own voices out in the market. And so your employees right now have amazing role models that are out there right now doing this same kind of work. And so this, this is obviously... LeBron James, and he's known as a basketball star, uh, arguably the best basketball player who has ever lived. What you're witnessing right now with LeBron James, and, and, and I'm in personal brand development here, so I pay attention to this stuff. What you're noticing with him right now is that he's actually laying a runway for what happens to LeBron James after his basketball career. So LeBron James, 10, 10 years from now, He's planting the seeds of being more of a social activist. So you're seeing that in real time right now. Your employees are also witnessing this for them and, and, and learning from what LeBron James is doing. As a matter of fact, The Rock uh, is, has done this already. He's already made this kind of transformation. He was a guy who was known as a you know, WWE wrestler. and he is now this gentle giant of a motivational speaker, helping people uh, identify with living their best life, uh, you know, living big, living better. If you follow him and I follow him, I mean, who doesn't love the rock, but I follow him on Instagram and he's got these great motivational messages for people. So he's already living this, uh, you know, this voice that was beyond his current vocation. So um, your employees are noticing this, they're seeing this, and they are also laying runways uh, here. And, there, and there's another example here that I think is super helpful for you to understand, Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio uh, has the largest TikTok following in the world, and she did it herself, DYI brand development here. Uh, not using traditional channels, just using a platform of TikTok and, you know, lip syncing and dancing to videos. She's developed an amazing career for herself. So these are the people that your employees are noticing out there right now. And they are starting to um, figure out how they can start to build their voice right now. So you have an opportunity. You have a an, an option here. The option is, do we merge with that or do we resist it? So I think that's really important for, for, for an employer to understand. And this really came to light for me when I was uh, in interviewing an employee for a, a position at my old agency. And I had a personal blog that I had published for many years. So this idea of brand development is not new. You know, it's been happening for decades here. Um, and I had this personal blog that I had published. So this, this was a long time ago. My, uh, th this employee who I hired noticed what I had been writing online. She actually replayed to me some of the things that I had written online. And it shocked me. It shocked me, first off, that she found it. Second off, that she read it. And third, that she, she remembered what I said. And, and it made me think, boy, I've got to really think about 
the things that I'm publishing out there on the internet because they last. So I can just tell you this, if you have any trepidation about whether this is a good idea or not to encourage your employees to, to build their voice out there, let me just say this. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea because the benefits far outweigh the rogue voice that may happen out there. So I'm going to give you three really good reasons here on why you should consider this. Um, number one, yes, it helps employees grow their careers. Okay. So the evidence is out there when you're, when you're encouraging and helping employees grow, grow their careers, they're more engaged. And as we all know, an engaged employee is an employee that sticks around. So there's a kind of a paradox in the whole thing where you're thinking that, well, if I'm in, investing in their personal brand, they're going to they're gonna wave bye-bye. That's not necessarily the case here. You're encouraging them to have a voice within and outside the company, which is, is merging with the way that they're currently thinking, and they're actually more likely to stick around. The second idea here is that you can establish them as thought leaders. So just think about them as being subject matter experts inside and outside of the organization. So what does that mean? So that means that, that other employees can look to them as the go-to within the organization. That's powerful. But, but what could perhaps be even more powerful is outside of the organization, they become a subject matter expert. So just thinking about having a virtual network, that slide with all of the people on there, a virtual network of marketers for your organization and thought leaders for your organization that point back to the company. So that's super powerful. And then the third reason here is it raises your organization's profile as an employer. So those subject matter experts are actually helping raise the cachet of the organization so that people look at it favorably. What can this do in a recruitment scenario? Well, this can actually help lower recruitment costs and raise the credibility cachet of the organization. And we all know how hard it is to recruit great talent. So you could actually bring in better talent because they're the, the voices that are um, out there representing the organization are leaders. So that's super powerful. So in, in summary here, the, the thing is, is that you have an opportunity here with these technologies to turn your staff into not only a sales, but also a marketing and a recruitment force. And that's super powerful. So don't be afraid of this. You know, this, this really can be controlled by strategy and process and technology, and we've seen it work. So uh, think about, you know, as you're bringing people back to the office, and even if people don't get back to the office, how to re-energize your workforce. Thank you all for the time today. Thank you, Greg and Greg. Coming up next is our first panel discussion today, key moments in onboarding and career mobility. To join, return to the event hub and click the view session link. Thank you.